had people come in here and they say, oh Not my God. Not just clowns that frighten the motel guests. And there. that theme doesn't stop at the front office. In the rooms, clowns over the bed. Some guests seek out this motel, but others Free leave. Clown Motel in Tonopah is a hotbed for wandering spirits. Oh my God. Oh my God. So he woke up and there was a large, life-size clown standing in front of his bed. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I feel like we can't leave this room. Could you please turn those flashlights off at the same time? No! Oh shit! God, he's touching it! Oh. My oh, God. This is a different one. Oh, up there. Up there. Up there. Oh, wait. Whoa. Did somebody just walk out through and then it come in? It feels more like. No. Way. You weren't even looking at it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I was thinking we go to the graveyard. Oh. Eight months ago, we had taken a trip to Tonopah, Nevada to visit the infamous Clown Motel. This time, we are not alone. We are joined with Amanda from the YouTube channel, Mackie and Amanda, and things are about to get crazy. I've been trying to be my own guiding star. I've had people that come in here and they say, oh my God, I didn't realize you had all these clowns. Some guests seek out this motel. Others leave in fear. I go and take the pictures off the walls in the rooms or cover them up with a, with a uh, dishcloth. It all started in the 80s when the motel was built by the Davids to honor their father's massive collection of clowns. Over the decades, this place has become somewhat of a Nevada landmark and this clown collection has done nothing but grow, which leads us to this graveyard I was talking about. Broken, heart and mind and arms laid down. You're alone, hate and arms hotel was built next to a cemetery that's more than a hundred years old. They built it right next to the graveyard because that's where their father was buried. However, when it comes to this place being extremely haunted, a lot of people seem to think that this is why, because of this graveyard. This was the county cemetery created around the turn of the century. A murdered sheriff, prostitutes, barkeepers, even miners killed in a fire. There are countless people buried inside of this graveyard, but a lot of the bodies that are buried there are victims of the Belmont Mine Fire. All of them died from smoke inhalation. Alan Metzger helped restore the cemetery after it closed in 1911. Decades of storms and vandalism left the graveyard in ruins. He helped re-identify the buried, including William Murray, who died saving trapped miners. They found his remains at the top of the shaft down 1,400 feet, decapitated and mutilated. This fire was a huge tragedy there in Tonopah, and back in 1911, it killed 17 people. This was very tragic, but those are not the only hauntings that are happening at the Clown Motel. There have even been claims of people saying that they've seen shadow figures and even an apparition of a full-bodied clown standing at the foot of their bed when they wake up in the middle of the night. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. So. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. One of our favorite stories that the current owner, Heem, had told us was about a couple of girls who were staying in one of the motel rooms. Well, apparently their toilet had randomly broke. So they had given the front desk a call to see if somebody could fix it. Story goes that the girls had left to go get a bite to eat. And when they had shown back up to their room, they had heard sounds of somebody working in the bathroom. Soon after that, somebody had knocked on the door and it turns out that was the actual maintenance person. They had turned to go to the bathroom and nobody was there, but the toilet was fixed. A lot of these stories most of you have probably heard of, but here's something new I know you haven't. Recently, two dolls randomly showed up at the motel, and the story behind them is horrifying. These two dolls were part of a collection inside of a home. That home randomly caught on fire. The entire family of eight people died, and everything but these dolls was burnt to a crisp. It's almost like these dolls had like some kind of force field stopping them from being destroyed. daughters saw like a spirit of a young girl there. On that note of dolls, there's also a couple of broken animatronics that sit in the lobby as well. There's one in specific that has not been set off in over four months. And it doesn't matter what you do, it's definitely broken. Some people say that this thing is possessed by something evil, and they're the one to decide who they want to show themselves to. With that being said, I think it's time to hit the road. So, let's go. 
Alright guys, so this room, I set a booby trap for any spirit who wants to go ahead and walk by our pyramid. The pyramid detects any movement, as you can see, on either or side, so we got a camera on that. We're going to leave it alone. This is room 208. We set another booby trap. This is a REM pod, so if anybody walks right by it, it'll start to set off as well. We're just going to leave both rooms unattended and start in the lobby. You guys ready? Usually we don't make a return anywhere uh -uh. okay but the clown motel was awesome we had such a good time and now we're doing a collab with I amanda from mackie and amanda i literally so. just caught an orb going up from your shoulder right oh my I'm god dude up. there you go dude <laughs> okay so i had to reset that because we set it in here and while we were outside the door was closed this thing just kept going off so i think it's a perfect night for us to capture any spirits in any of the rooms because there's so there's literally a lot of people here but that could cause so much energy for these spirits, dude. And we have our very first medium on this channel. So I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. This is going to be awesome. Well, I did not think that we were going to come back. It was kind of in the talk of coming back. Amanda has not been here. And some of you, hopefully a lot of you guys know who Amanda is. Do you want to explain who you are? Well, hello everyone. My name is Amanda and I'm a medium. So I travel around to do the same thing that these boys do. But uh, I happen to like be able to see what's in the room with us, feel from a very young age. Before I could speak, I used to draw things. So I'm just kind of riding that along, seeing what we can get and sharing it with you guys. Literally, it's about time. Everybody's been telling us to get a medium, and I'm like, this has got to be specific as f It started on Twitter, too. Yeah. I saw, like, yeah, people literally. mentioning, like, you guys are the ones that did this. My name came up on your spirit box. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's bro. right, dude. Holy shit. How did I forget about that? So that's what I no. saw on Twitter. I contacted you, and I was like, yo, something's, something's happening to us. We ended up going to a super famous place in that area. It's called the Devil's Toy Box. Our device said your name, and I was like, this is so weird, man. This is one of the weirdest things that happened to us. But yeah, we are in the middle of bum f nowhere. It's and, exactly uh, what I call it. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna do an investigation here at the Clown Motel again, not because of the clowns whatsoever. We don't like clowns. We had some really good stuff happen here, so I'm ready to go. Heem's our homie. If you guys ever come to Clown Motel, say, yo, Twin Paranormal sent you, and he'll give you a crisp high five. <laughs> <laughs> More nothing less. <laughs> All right. Immediately? Yeah. Those are hunter dogs. There's a story there. Somebody doing it, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and re I'm gonna reset it, just to be sure. Sometimes, like the ram pod, could be a little like finicky. Sometimes we have experiences where it'll go green first, and yeah. we'll reset it. But it went from green to blue yeah. to yellow, and that doesn't happen if Dude. it's malfunctioning. No way, bro. <laughs> okay. Did you read the story? Read no, the story? I didn't. Is there? It's something standing by that REM pod making it go off. Can you step away, and I'll read the story of these haunted dolls? Could you imagine it just being the dolls themselves? Wait. Just like that, if you step away. Something's touching it! Oh my Held god. Held on to, literally, so when it does that, we actually just got told, because it sometimes does happen to us and we don't understand why it does that. Apparently it's somebody doing like that, holding on to it. This just gave me the chills. I literally bumped into that <laughs> last, time, last time I was here and it scared the shit out of me too. If, if it's a spirit that's attached to the dolls, okay. the REM pod might be doing too it again. close. I don't know if they can step away from that. Okay, so now that you know that we're here, you're showing us that you're here by holding on to these devices, these objects, whatever you see them as. I just wanted to go ahead and introduce all five of us because I feel like it'd be proper for you to know our names before we ask you questions. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is Brendan. My name is Amanda. My name is River. We're just here to see if anybody would like to have a conversation and maybe if you want to tell us your story, why you're here, whatever it is, whoever you are, maybe you can give us a sign. Or if there's anybody attached to those dolls and can understand what we're saying, what I'm saying, just give us a sign. Yo, this place got dead. I was gonna say, isn't it weird that it stopped the yeah. entire time you were talking? That was cool. <laughs> oh, dude, okay. So the device is not malfunctioning, as you can see. 
because it's not continuing. I had to reset it twice. Yeah. Did you just hold on to that because you are answering that you understand what I'm saying? Maybe you can do that again. Take your time, no rush. We're gonna be around this property just about all night. Do you feel? I was gonna say the vibe in here is okay. so heavy. There it goes again. Okay. If there is somebody standing there, can you just let go? Or even take a step back? <gasps> So that's a distance. Oh, that was the cool. colors are distance. That was cool. I like that. Stepping back. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what they're, that's they did. Amazing. That was cool. That was awesome. I would love to know. Um, the vibe in here is crazy. Yeah. If, no, I feel it for sure. If you're attached to those dolls in that case right there, could you go near our device and let us know? Yo, like it just feels like we're surrounded. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was outside, wasn't it's it? It's like a clown. Was like, boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. You know what I heard? It almost sounded like a music while you sounded like the like a revolution. Oh, like the... You were not close no, enough. Not, not at, at all. all. No. You actually that's a good point. Did you hear that? Did that it, when you heard it, what direction do you think it came from? Not it, that direction, it came from uh, maybe around over here. There. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I've got this object here that will detect your movement. I don't know if you remember, nine months ago we came here and we used this. It starts to play music if you walk in front of it. It's gonna calibrate real quick after that. Can somebody please walk in front of that? Move in front of that to give us a sign that you are in here. Mind you guys, some of this noise, Hema's over there in the corner. It's all good. It's She's all good. not reacting to it. Like I said, we're homies. Like that. Crisp. Crisp. I'm gonna walk in front of it. Okay. Yeah, maybe it might be good if we like are in here with That's what I was them. thinking and just asking them if you could walk, maybe stand. What the? Oh my gosh, dude. You could stand near me and then walk from me over there. This device, this object, is not going to harm anybody. All it does is it tells us that you are here because we can't physically see you unless if you want us to see you. It's all just an opportunity for you to make yourself known to us and other ways of moving any objects around, making knocks, taps. What the f***? What the f***? Wait, what? what are is you kidding me? I think that's a motion. But are it hasn't gone off. joking? Us. No, dude. Somebody's standing here. What the f Can you... Can... <laughs> could you do that again? That was right next Wait, to can you. That someone... gave me such an icky feeling. <laughs> can someone confirm <laughs> what what makes that thing go off? Heem. Oh, I'm glad Heem's here. Heem, we like, got a question. pounding? Yes. What sets that clown off to do that? Is it a motion? Clown? What is it? Basically, motion. Oh my god! No way! It's motion. Somebody walked in there with you, like right in front of you. It my does sometimes, five times a day, and once in a five month. Weird. What? Oh my what? gosh, dude! Okay. Let's When's the last time it's done it? I said last month. Uh, okay. Phase rex. So twelfth oh. uh, of June. Dude, that's oh when it went off. The Did last it time. For us? The last time phase rug was. Yo, I feel. Special right now. We better. We should literally go walk the red carpet or something. Cool, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but I'm actually having a heart attack. That really scared that me. That was really cool. Dude, look at this First thing, thing too, actually, bro. One thing I do want to do is, is it like... So, okay. I did that because some, like, Halloween stuff, it does, like, go off to, like, claps or... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just wanted to prove that it wasn't us talking, it wasn't us yelling or anything. Dude, I don't even if know what thing, to think. If this thing goes off, I'm actually gonna die. Does that go off too? I don't know. Well, I didn't think that one went <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, apparently that doesn't go off often, so you really definitely showed us that you're here. It's a lot to ask, and maybe we're being a little selfish, but as you can see, it really shook us up a little, and we're super impressed. Could you do it again? 
any point. We're gonna be in here the next hour until 12 o'clock tonight. You have all that time to make this go off again. I'd like to switch places now. <laughs> With me? Yeah, I don't want to be over here again. Psych. Oh. Psych. Oh. You know what? Leave it to the judge. All right. All right. We'll ask. Yeah. We we can say REM pod for oh. one of us. And this for the other. Okay. All right. We'll do this. <laughs> REM pod for me to move over. Oh. I know oh, you, that's, you hella that wanted that. That's sneaky, Ruthless. Bro. Fine, fine, fine. If I you make that, that REM pod over there go off, if you go and touch that red light over there, then I will go over there. How about that? Do your best. Touch that REM pod if you want Amanda to come over here, and I'll go there. You go ahead and scare me. I'll cry. All right, all right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little ask. If you are interested in us switching places. Why don't you make that REM pod on top of the dolls go off again, like you were doing earlier? We'll give you like 15 seconds. We don't want to rush you, give you your time. But if you, if you want to see that happen, switch places, scare him, make him cry. Well, but what are the odds though? Apparently that has not gone off in a long ass time. It really scared no, me. That hasn't gone off in I'm so afraid now. That really put me on edge. That was really. And normally it doesn't. Yo, that was that was awesome. No f***ing way. <laughs> Maybe I'm happy over here. This one right here just went off. No shot. What? What? Did you guys just see that? Did you just see that? I snapped in front of it, and it didn't do anything. And you've I... been there the entire time. I don't know how close I could be. Okay, I wasn't standing this far back either. Otherwise, I'd be close to hitting this. You weren't that Oh close. my god, dude. Do you dude. hear this? It's not going off. Maybe I didn't need to move. I was gonna say, honestly, it's just gonna switch sides no matter no. what. If something goes off over here now... <laughs> dude. Thank you so much. I haven't moved. I Time to what? Did, what did you see? I'm just, just you standing here. No, he hasn't moved at all. He's... Whoa. Dude. Is there somebody right here? I'm not moving. Not doing anything. Oh, this is a trip, dude. Oh, this is awesome. I, I am so happy right now. Time to... S float. Oh, out. time to float. Didn't you guys have the penny room last time you dude, were here? I did. I did. Okay, but that one, though. That one went off. What do you mean by motion, though? Yeah, you see what, what I'm saying? Oh, I touched it and it didn't go off. Oh, off. you just pissed him off. Dude, imagine he goes off right now. Dude, I think this is like already like more than we caught before. Oh yeah, oh yeah, easy. All right, I have this other device here, this other object that you will be able to use your words, whether it's just one word or a whole sentence. So first things first, what I do, airplane mode. That hasn't been going off whatsoever. I don't know if that's me. Well, it would keep going off. You're standing in the same spot. You just lifted your leg. All right, explain this to me. Okay, I've... so this is this device we use, and more YouTubers are starting to use it because of the interaction we get. Like, it's just like an ovulus, and... Oh. I heard that. It was like something tapped that on was the porcelain. porcelain. That was porcelain. Oh. This works just like an ovulus. This never happens. Nobody ever comes in and do that. It's so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> the cash register. I'm gonna put this in. So funny. I'm gonna put this in. <laughs> All of us were like. So, what the spirits can do is just like an ovulus, they'll go to it, they can use words out of it. This doesn't spit out three words at a time or like two words at a time. It'll spit out a word or they'll say a sentence. They'll tell us what their name is, who they are, and. Yeah, that's just kind of how it works. Sometimes I put it on airplane mode because I don't want anybody thinking that it can be controlled with Wi-Fi or anything. So I make sure that everybody can see that it's on airplane mode. Because okay. why do you put your phone on airplane mode? For no disturbance. That's smart. I'm going to go ahead and set this device right over here. And I want you to use your words. Speak into it loud and clear. Whatever you'd like to say to us. Maybe start by telling us your name. Or why you're here. 
That's usually what we like to start with. Use camera. I don't know what that means. Take pictures? Is there anything in specific you would like us to take a photo of? Or is that what you're trying to tell us to do? Maybe you can explain a little bit more. Is there a direction? A room? My battery is literally halfway dead right now. And acknowledge. Acknowledge. He wants Wait. us to acknowledge it. By using a, our video, our photo. Because guys, earlier I said, these devices you can use so that we can see you because we cannot with our own eyes. We can't physically see them. So maybe it's asking you to... This is a different oh, one! Up there! Up there! Oh, dude! Oh my god, did they just answer what I just said? Dude, this is Wait. freaking crazy. Wait. Quit clowning around. Quit clowning around. That's freaking weird, dude. That makes me so Yo. uncomfortable, bro. We've been in this room. What did it say? Busy. Busy. Quit clowning around. They're busy. We've been in here for 37 minutes and it hasn't gone off. Yeah. Also, I don't know if this is like picking you up, but I'm going to go ahead and set it here. That's three different... Something definitely just touched my hair. No way. Really? That was three different clowns that have gone off. That is so creepy. Dude, we did not have this happen the last time we were no. here. That's the thing. Like, that's why this is so crazy to us right now. Is, like, when we were here, we got some things, and then, like, you know, the clown hand moved. Uh -huh. But nothing oh, like this. dude. This is so creepy. This is so, like, so much more than last So time. you guys have never brought, like, mediums anywhere? Uh-uh. Oh. Never. They say that mediums are, like, lighthouses Yo. to spirits. Oh, shit, dude. Like, that makes so much things sense. Things know what you are, and it's... Dude, like moths so to a flame crazy. where they just are drawn to it they take the opportunity to communicate and talk because like we can see them That's there's crazy. something over by the dolls for mm -hmm. sure somebody was trying to tell us something so if if you want us to take a photo maybe give us a little bit more information but we'll go ahead and try and take a photo if you know what direction we're pointing this camera maybe you can stand in front of it so that we can see you Dude, imagine it you says take clown. Some photos real quick, what? It's literally what it, I'm afraid of it saying. Dude, if it says clown. My heart. My heart? Is there a heart in here or something? Like. Oh, I'm sure. This could be. You know what I mean? Or this this could be the heart of the whole freaking motel. Yeah. Dude, well, I is. would not put it past we were it, told bro. It was. We were literally really? told. Yeah, we were told by so many people that this is literally the hot spot. I Turn did. your light off for like two seconds so I can take some pictures. Of Especially if it's residual hauntings, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just having, being near the cemetery, being hotels, people like to stop in, especially if it was a happy place. Mm -hmm. Or exactly the opposite, if it was somewhere that was unhappy, they might get stuck here. What were clowns used for? They were originally created to make people happy. That's what they were for. I mean, they or weren't. What the f***? Was that you? Huh? Did you just move anything? No. No. That happened right here. It sounded like something was being Okay, I'm gonna walk you. past where the music box is. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, my whole chest feels so heavy right now. Heart. It's in my heart. Oh. Why are you still here? Is this just a place that you like to go to? Or do you not really have an option? A pact. A pact? A pact. What was your question? Why are you here? Why, Why do you Why stay here? That was me, that was me. Did you just say agreement? Maybe all yeah. these spirits have a pact to frickin' keep this place safe? Can you tell us what kind of pact? Or between who? Can I just say? That clown right up there is the same kind of thing as that oh, one. Yeah. Oh and if God. it was my light, dude, my light would be going off. Oh, this camera overheated and shut off. No. No freaking I way. I in the corner, and like right when that swinging clown went off, it was probably a minute or two after I had set this up. But like I heard it shut off just now, and I thought that it might have been like too long. Like it might have been running Encounter. too long. <gasps> Yo. Okay. So hear me out. His camera died. Wyatt's camera's being drained, and your guys' camera just overheated. Like the battery's still good on. Shit is popping literally popping off right now why do you think we're, we're giving them all like so much energy right now i mean enough energy to make this thing go off after it hasn't gone off for months that's insane it's that only gone off five problem. times ever that's wild what are you <laughs> feeling right now i keep feeling something touching my hair for sure i feel like there's multiple things here 
Thomas. There's one overwhelming spirit in here and there was one overwhelming thing in that corner. Mm -hmm. That corner feels like it's physically like one person attached to something. So I'm super curious. We haven't even read the story Whoa, of the Whoa, dude, yet. I just felt something freaking push on my head. I'm that so makes sorry. Sense. Maybe we should move over here. Read that story. Yeah. Whoever is being grabby, that's kind of weird. It's that could, definitely. Whoever's being grabby could be the one who's setting these off. That's what I think. It's definitely the more, and here is the more physical one. Definitely the stronger, like, presence that I feel like stays here. In there is... Good. Good. In there is the one that doesn't scare me as bad. It feels more like... No way. Two in a row, bro? How is this possible? How is this possible? Dude, I'm about to freaking lose it. Hang on. Come here. I have Come full here. chance. Come here. Look, there's a line right here, okay? It is plugged into this wall. There is no line going anywhere for anybody to just be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna with them, you know? That's incredible. Twice? It does. I don't think that happens. Hame's probably gonna lose his shit I'm, I'm, if he finds I'm out. so curious. Where's the motion, guys? Oh, I have tried. I have touched it. I have... Hey. Everything. Oh. <laughs> Did you just see it? <laughs> I just... Well, now he's pissed <laughs> off. Ooh. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Give him a little head. Cry! Oh, oh my god, god, bro. Oh my god. Hey, I'm so sorry. I think you are handsome. Do you guys want to hear this doll story? It's yeah. really f***ed up. Okay, Dude. we're going to make our way <laughs> here. What was that sound? What was it? I thought that just said... A word. It sounded like somebody, like, it sounded like that voice saying a word. So you, I looked down. Why are clowns scary, like, already? I and then this. No. We were trying to debunk it, literally. We tried. I was thinking maybe, like, you can, like, tap it and it'll, it'll do something. Yeah. You know, it could do, like, vibration. We've been jumping all over the place. I've snapped. You tried feeling. We tried sensor. Light's not making it. There's no way dude except earlier after it went off the first time we asked it we told it we were here until 12. what time is it we have 15 minutes left no way. oh my we, god we told Wait. it that it had an hour until 12 no. p.m or Joe. what, what Joe. is it Joe. Joe. i wonder if that's in there you've stepped into the other room and it said a different name yeah. just thinking out loud yeah but we said it we gave it a certain amount of time that's crazy like i said we're gonna make our way over here and finish up in here doesn't mean Thank we're you. leaving the property we're gonna be in the motel rooms, and we're also gonna be at the graveyard, so if anybody doesn't have their chance to speak with us, they should. Okay, these dolls, what's going on? What's it happen in place tonight? I am... The Bullshit. minute we come back in here... These dolls, what is going on, dude? What? Wait, has it, you've been in here the entire time, it hasn't yeah, gone off no, at all. We, we've been like... A Staring at it. What did it say? Harold. Harold. I'm starting to get that, you know, like, can't breathe. yeah, we're so, like getting the anxiety, but oh my God. These dolls are famous because a family of eight died after their house erupted in flames in the low desert, but these child clown dolls were untouched by the flames. Some wonder, were the clown dolls truly cursed and makes you think, do they have souls trapped inside them? Oh, how freaking oh, crazy wow. is that? And wait, look how many names it's given us. Oh Thomas, my Thomas, Joe, oh. Harold. That's three names. Is that true? Is that, like, are we getting this story correct? We're just trying to figure out what's going on here. Come to think of it, it is so much more active here now. Could be the dolls. I was gonna say, the dolls. Doorway. Oh, shit. Turn around. You just read that story, Wyatt. And now you're standing in the doorway, though. They're like, yo, please let me in or out. Hear that? Uh, did y'all see that? No. You didn't just notice the wind just Ooh. Whoa! Did somebody just walk out through and then come in? Did you see the wind like erupt outside? That Whoa, was weird. Bro. I did. This is too much of like any everything to be a coincidence. Yeah. Eight people dying in one house fire? Stopped. Roberts. Roberts. What if they were the Roberts? We were asking if that was true, if they were a family. Right. Gave us the three names. What if it was like Joe Roberts, Harold Roberts? Oh, this, a... this image says there's a news article about it. We'll have to look it up and yeah. find out. The story of this place just became... Look, hold on. Hold on a second. So much more intense. It is not windy whatsoever. Dude, that was like a fat gust of wind, almost as if somebody like powerful is just like, yo, doorway. Oh my God. <laughs> did you just get the coldest yeah, gust I of did. wind? I did. 
I felt Sorry, Wyatt, something I just freaking come through here, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> they didn't it's... feel it at all. Uh-uh. No, I didn't feel anything. I feel something right here. On my right side, we just got the, both of us, the coldest gust of wind. Whoever like... came in probably is in between you two. Dude, I still kind of feel it, not going to lie. It noise? is kind of cold. What did it say? Noise. I swear though, Wyatt, you caught that too. It was like a giant gust of wind that just That was came gnarly. Out. And it said door first. So like, yo, open the door. That was a good call. That was a really good call. Because somebody came in, passed that, held onto it, whatever they did, and then stood in between you two. Yes. If you guys are attached to these dolls, are you okay with them being here in this collection? Is that all right with you? Do you want to be here? Will you make one of those clowns go off like before? Or touch this REM pod if that's okay? Here's a... Sorry. That was my decor. Burned. 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 No! Oh, shit. Whoa! Oh. Holy shit. Dude, look at my... I'm chilled <laughs> out. I've bro. never gotten the chills on my face, and I literally got the chills on my face. My I went heart up my body. sank. Oh my god, that's so sad. I literally Whoa. have like an overwhelming feeling of sadness and on the right dolls. now. I feel like depressed right now. I do too. That my heart sank. Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much for telling us. So there's new spirits here. Are the other spirits here nice to you guys? Do you guys fit in here? Likely. Likely. That's the first time it's answered yeah, super was, fast. Was nice. They're here. They're literally like right here next Dude. to us. Dude. Yo. Passage. Passage. The These dolls are definitely haunted here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There we go. That's a confirmation that they're haunted. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All chiming in. If you can hear me and understand what I'm saying. All of us are going to be making our way all around, like I said. And if you want to continue to speak with us, we would love to hear more of your story. But unfortunately, we're done in here. So please. Yo, that was amazing. That was so good. It's almost unbelievable. You I know? I say, it's unreal. Like Surprise. If, Surprise, dude. Oh my God. Like, if I wasn't here experiencing it and I was watching it on camera, I'd be like, no. Too, too good to be true. And this happens. This literally happens. We get this kind of stuff a lot. I'm telling you, I think something's up with us. Something's weird. You were telling But what? I feel like since you're here also, such a huge boost. Just everything combined, you know? This place, oh, man. these dolls. I think now's a good time to make our way to the motel. So, let's go. Oh, whoa. You're filming right now? Yeah. Okay, so what, what room is it? 108. 108. There was a couple that came in, you guys saw earlier while we were investigating. They left, yeah. They left because they were too scared? Yeah, they said we can make it. So now the room is for you. Sick. Oh, oh my god. Wait, those are the people that we talked to that were like underneath the bed, right? No, the, the two the old people, couple that just came in. Two, while we were over there and we we're like, oh, this oh, is, this is weird. Yeah, yeah, they the people left that because they were too scared. They gave me a kiss and we are leaving. We can make it. Did oh. they tell you what happened? She said, my daughter is scared. Her daughter is scared? Yeah. How old was her little girl? She was 22. Oh, shit. oh my god! I, why was I like imagining right a little a little yeah, kid? Yeah, where I'm like, oh, I wonder if she, oh my gosh, she don't need to. Wait. Okay, well I guess uh, <laughs> I'm <dude>. scared. <laughs> now we just got access to that, so yeah, no, no change of plan. Let's get, Should let's make our there? way. Yeah, let's go to the motel. Dude, this is so creepy, bro. Yeah. Okay. How is that? Also, was he saying that it wasn't like that? No, 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 it was not like that. No. So now the, said, the water will not turn off what at all. Dude, the events that are happening tonight, it's Weird. crazy. Like, I, I'm pretty sure this is one in a million. I wonder, like, what it is. If it's something different about this room, if it's something just throughout the entire hotel that tonight of all nights is really active. I mean, we had crazy experiences in there. They actually came in while we were filming in there. I was like looking at Amanda and I was like, oh, this is like a little weird, but there must have been a reason. And now we found out what that reason was. It was obviously important that they didn't want to stay here. That's weird. Dude, this is so odd. I don't know how to explain like, the way I'm feeling right now. Everything that's going through my head that's happened tonight is like very wild. There's a bug on my lens. 
you heard why we're here. We're just trying to find out if there is somebody in here and would like to show us that they're here. I sent an object over there. If you want to go up to it, make it buzz, you can do whatever. But for some reason, you scared the family enough for them to leave. So maybe if you feel comfortable, here's a ball. I'm going to throw it there. Once it turns off, maybe hold on to it. Knock it. Move it. Sorry, but that water just reminds me of a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> really nervous in oh, here. Oh, and we're in the Pennywise room. Nice. There's a oh, scene the water. where there's you, water. Oh, you'll float too, bro. Yep. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Wait, me who's never seen it, now I'm all nervous and out of the bro, loop. That's a... Oh, that's... Oh, my God, that's creepy. Did they just predict that we were going to get this room? And the Pennywise doll went off. Oh, one of they... the three dolls in that room that went off. Oh. The one right behind oh, no, you no. was Pennywise. Dude, that's what was saying you'll float. Yes. That was the thing that was saying you'll float. What are the odds that the Pennywise... So, so yeah, it wasn't the device. It was whatever was on the shelf. It, it was, was like a little Pennywise. Right. It was like whatever is with this hotel. Like It has access to that Pennywise doll. It has access to this room and made those people leave while we were in there. Dude. It's like okay. all coming full circle. Like okay. literally so full circle that we could not have had like anything to do with it because there were guests in this room. Literally. Okay. I mean, it's not, it's not just like a coincidence. That Pennywise went off behind me, okay? That's like the first indicator. What if that spirit was like, no, I want them, them, us, in this room. So I'm going to push whoever's Ooh. in the room. That's I'm exactly, it sounds insane, but it happened. It, <laughs> that freaking freaks me Dude. out, bro. Can we show that this water will not turn off? Because I don't want to just be like, yeah, the water's well, it won't turn off. You know what I'm saying? I just want to show to you guys that the water will not turn off. So look. This knob, it's broken. How odd is it that we're in the Pennywise room? Oh, and this Pennywise shit just keeps happening, dude. Now you have to watch it. It's no, gonna scare the shit really out of you. No, now I really don't wanna watch it. I feel like I've seen the bathtub scene though, where the <laughs> I was okay. filming that, guys. <laughs> okay. Last time we were talking about the bathroom and I had my back to it too, it went off. Yeah. Oh and he said yeah. the most activity happens in the bathrooms. I didn't finish telling her that story. The first time that we were here, Heem told us about how there was two girls staying in a room and they know that this place is haunted and they asked the spirit. They said, hey, we hear you in the bathroom. That bathroom's broken. Like, can you fix it? And the bathroom was fixed. Yeah. By itself, like the That's like, like the one spirit. of the biggest stories about this place. It is always told in like everybody's investigations or he always will tell that story when you get an interview from him. Itself? Yes. So here's the thing. The women thought that there was an actual guy that came and fixed it. Oh, they thought that a maintenance they, they man They thought a maintenance man fixing. came and fixed it, but he's like, no, no, that person doesn't exist. So they said, we swear somebody came and fixed our toilet. He said, no, I, I hadn't even sent out the request yet. Dude, what if we ask <gasps> if oh, they can fix it? it? Oh, I what if it. they do it, bro? You should yeah. set that camera up in there. All of this is just kind of weird. We're trying to put it together like a little puzzle. Maybe we are totally off or maybe we're right on point. If you could continue to hopefully show us that you're here, maybe if we were right and you were trying to get them out and get us in here, there might be a reason why. So we're here to communicate with anybody and speak. Conversation would be nice. And if you can fix whatever's going on in there, that'd be the best. Boom. We've heard some crazy stories that you've done that in the past. Another guest who was staying in your motel had some problems with the restroom and you were able to fix it for her. Maybe you can do that for us. That's you suddenly. Suddenly. Died. Died. Did you die here? So Mistake. Like Mistake. Died mistake. <gasps> Was your death a mistake? Or are you talking about the water? Did you do it to yourself or was it an accident? Did somebody do it to you? <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Fuck you guys. Ooh. What the f dude? 
So you're just trying to kind of give us some information. Thank you so much. That's what we're looking for. Maybe if you want to know anything about us, ask. Whatever. I got that it was an accident. Um, and I also feel like the spirit that's here right now is something that was with us in the front. But not something that like ever communicated with us. You think it was just somebody kind of like walking by, just passing through, maybe checking us out? That's exactly what it feels like. When I'm like, it almost feels like it's familiar. Like it was in there, but we never I talked to it or had any communication with it. It never messed with any of our devices. Like this is our first time talking to her. But it also yeah. makes me wonder... I'd love to get a number of how many things are here because I feel like there's more than one, but I'm trying- Filming. We're filming. Did they want us to come in here and film them? To me, that's nothing but absolute proof that they are in this room with us watching what we're doing oh. and they're aware that we're filming them. Is this the spirit, the person who made this couple leave the room? Or are you just curious and passing through and maybe giving us some information? I feel like this is the thing that made the couple leave. Investigator. And it wanted to talk to us. Investigator. They know what we are. They know what we're doing. How you were like, if you want to ask us some questions, yeah. it's almost like it doesn't need to ask us any questions. Yeah, it knows know exactly what, we what we're doing, exactly what we are. Different. I said, is this the person that scared them it's out? It's different. And how I was like, there's multiple people. Oh. Yo, somebody is answering our questions. Have you guys ever had a conversation this clear oh, with something Oh, like this? we've had a few, oh, yeah. yeah. This oh, is yeah. amazing. I just want to let you know that this object right here is not going to harm anybody here. It just shows us that you are walking by in the room. So all we want to know is if you can walk by. Understanding. Off. Understanding. Oh. <laughs> We, we tried this earlier in the last room where we stood on opposite sides yeah. and we asked oh. they'd be so kind to walk from one of us to the other and that would set off this music box right here. Oh my, oh god. my god! Thank you so much. Thank oh. you so much. Wow. They understand what we're saying. Did you? I saw that. Did you, could you see it touch my hair? Yeah, I saw or? That. Oh! What did you just feel? It felt like something grabbed my hair right here and like pulled it out. Like not hard, but... Yo, my pulse is pumping Hard up. enough that it scared me. That was amazing. And the fact that you were pointing and, and going back and forth with this light here, mm. and that's yeah, not going look. off, it's not triggering. Okay, since you did that... Go forward. No way! We literally asked them to walk through. We're not trying to make you do things, but we can't physically see you. That's why we have these devices, these objects that we're using. Since we can't see you, and since you did show us, thank you so much. Maybe you can do it one more time. Can you just walk through? And light that, make it go off. Thank you. What? Oh. Point at it again, please. Make sure it's not you. This is not you. Circle. Circling around? I don't know. If you can see, I'm right here. This is the edge of the bed. Yeah. If you follow this, this is how far I am. Oh, you're definitely not making it. This go thing's off. pretty much in the center, and that's like, I mean, I have to like lean over Wait, to do this. It's still not even doing anything. There, now it is. But you didn't do that. Is there maybe anything you would like for us to know? Maybe we're not in danger, maybe we're in danger, whatever you want to tell us. We're here and we're listening. Animal. Circle, animal. We asked if we were in danger. Oh, yeah, why would you even throw that out? Yo, we're in the desert. Ooh, those knee is crazy. I was so filming you too. <laughs> yeah, we got you. Those knee pranked. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we should be worried about. We're in the desert. There's plenty of coyotes, whatever, oh. something that could circle around this place. So if we do go outside, I'm just spitting ball right now. What if it's, oh, never mind. What if it's circling us? Now I'm thinking if it's outside and that's what we like are thinking or just talking about, and it's circling. Oh, it, the thing. The uh, thing. I'm gonna run through here real quick. You do it. It shall not be named. Oh, that's not you. It's like it followed you. Oh. Ball. I'm just spitting ball. <laughs> I just it's said I'm just spitting ball, dude. Honestly, like, this happens quite a bit. So, like, we'll start getting a bunch of good stuff, and then I feel like they run out of, like, energy. So then they need to build up some more energy to try and continue to communicate with us. Either that, or they can't do it, and then they'll just give up. I've noticed the same thing. Yeah. Have you ever seen a Boo Buddy? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you have one? So we have one. We feel like um, there's a green a pact. A pact? Oh, Again, yeah, wait, didn't it, it say that, that earlier? It did. The land. The land. A pact. The land. We've been talking about this. I want to point out too that we've been in this room for about 20 minutes and my brand new battery that I took off the charger is on one bar. We've only been in here for 20 minutes? It seems like it's been an hour. Also, Am I the only one? No, I feel the same way. Also, it's so much hotter in here because the hot water will not shut off. Dude, it's like a sauna in there. It is. I feel like we should move on to the next room. Creature. No way. Now things are kind of starting. Okay, when I said, is there something we need to worry about? It said, an animal running around, right? It says, land, sacred, oh, creature. Where are we Act. going, guys? Where do you think we're going? All right, I'm gonna say it. I'm you gonna can't say it. say it. No, 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 you can't say it. Skinwalker. No. Okay. It's coming. Oh, oh, no. What? oh my oh, god. Way, bro. No. You did this. This is your fault. I'm leaving. I gotta get out of here. That's the only thing I'm scared of. There's no way, bro. Bullshit. It's a myth. It's a myth. It's a myth, right? About the whole saying it. Well, no, the problem is know. we keep. I don't know. That was real reassuring. Thank you. We're literally doing so much research and we've been like on it, dude. The Skinwalker origin comes from the Navajo tradition. And what did we pass because we wanted to buy a fireworks? Navajo. That's a Navajo reservation. Reservation. I'm so sorry, guys. Yes. Oh hold on, hold right. on. This is such a weird night. Dude, we honestly, got spirits there and we asked, is there something we need to worry about? That was just kind of shooting out because I just want to know information. This is just happening, obviously, for a reason. And hey, is this your first skinwalker encounter? <laughs> Dude. Hop my skinwalker, Cherry. On camera, never in a million years would I have thought that we would come here of all places and run into something like this. What do we do? I feel like we can't leave this room. Oh, I was thinking we go to the graveyard. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because that's let's go. This is about my pay grade. All right. I don't want to just push this. I don't want to push it on you guys. It's totally up to you. Seriously. All right. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty much like up for anything. I'm super open to trying new things and like doing anything like this, but I'm nervous because I don't know anything about it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like the fear of the unknown. Like I'm just so uneducated on it and if I had that little bit of background, I'd feel more comfortable. So I would love a little lowdown on how it works before okay. we go out in the graveyard out there. Okay, so this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna drop the camera, shut it off, speak to you about it, because we're gonna respect everything, every decision you have. Whether this camera starts filming, we're going outside, or it starts filming, we go up to a different room. Whatever decision you make, nobody's gonna be mad at you whatsoever. So let's shut the camera off. Okay, so we made the decision and we're gonna make our way over to the graveyard. We're getting all this weird evidence and things are just coming. It took a whole turn. It was and not what we were expecting at all. No, we might as well go finish up the investigation there. We got a couple more investigations coming. So we got plenty of time to do a whole bunch of other stuff. What are your thoughts about what you just heard? Um, I would like to stand here and tell you guys that I feel so much better that why it really helped <laughs> reassure me that it's all gonna be okay over there. <laughs> well, I mean, we had to tell you the truth, of, like what we're up against, maybe. Which I appreciate, and that's why I think does make this so like nerve-wracking for me is this stuff, like what we experienced in this motel, I've dealt with my entire life, and what we're about to go experience in the graveyard, like whatever has been telling us is in the graveyard that we're about to experience. I don't know about. No walker of all skinness is gonna get near us. I'm just gonna go up to him and ask him, "You been drinking, Buster? Because I'll." F Get you a ticket there, bud. Yeah, you guys better hit the f like button. You better Whoa. hit that subscribe button because I'm nervous. <laughs> 20,000 likes. We'll come and stay the night in the grave. Probably not. No, it's gonna Most likely not. <laughs> Anyways, with that all being said, I think we should go night vision. So let's go all night. Crickets are out. Feeling good. This is it. I'm not feeling good. <laughs> I'm all feeling great. Scratch that. I'm feeling no, great. I'm literally going to leave that in. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs>
<laughs> I get asked the question a lot, like just seeing dead people, you know? They ask if cemeteries are really, really active places, and for the most part, they're pretty much dead quiet. And it's because people aren't waiting for their loved ones to come and visit them at a cemetery, you know? So if you're there at your family's headstone, they'll probably be there with you, more likely, because you're there. Yeah. But they're not just sitting waiting for you to come visit. Yeah. But I this place is really active. Really? And I don't know if it's like right now in particular because I have been here one other time and we didn't really like investigate or do anything. We just kind of walked through and saw it in the daytime. It was heavy, but it was pretty quiet. And right now I feel like <laughs> even when we were up there before we stepped foot into the cemetery, I was seeing shadows behind things. What? So I'm wondering if you guys are going to capture like just in the background of us, like oh, apparitions. Shit. But I was seeing, especially in this area. Guys, I just heard f clicking like somebody was banging on the wood. Closest wood, like that shit right there. I'm sorry. If there's anyone out here and can understand what we're saying, can hear us, we're just here to visit and see if anybody wants to speak with us. Maybe you know information about this said creature that's running around. We're not exactly sure, but we're open. We're open to any conversation with anybody. We're gonna try the flashlight method, see if anybody wants to communicate through the flashlight, see if we can ask a couple of questions. Real quick, uh, before we start, Oh yeah. compare flashlights because I just wanna oh, okay. show people. You wanna compare flashlights right now? Dude, wait, I thought you'd bigger? never ask. Mine's bigger. No, it's not. <laughs> Mine's for sure bigger. Okay, all right, <laughs> I'm sorry, but. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> Wait, on the count of three, reveal. Rip them out. One, two, three. <laughs> same size. Oh! Yours is black. They're the same flashlight, same thing. Same so mag we, light, twist we've, on, twist mm -hmm. off. We've had these questions basically saying that like we could potentially have a remote to turn on this light. I don't even think that's a, a thing. Is that a thing? Are there flashlights that you can turn on and off? I think there remotely? are hunting hunting flashlights that you can. Oh. That's for like game This is no all. hunting. This is this like is a Walmart. 15, <laughs> 12, 15 dollar light. Target, maybe. Yeah. If you're here with us and you're okay with us communicating through this flashlight, leaving it on this stone, could you please turn it on? We'll know you're here and that you're okay with that being there. If you're not, we'll move it, but... That's where I was seeing stuff. If you can please complete that circuit to turn it on. Oh my, right away, dude. Whoa. We weren't even looking at it. No, thank you so much. Now, if you can turn it off, this is how we're gonna do things. If you can turn it off, then we can go ahead and start asking you some questions. Thank you. Is there somebody around us right now? Kind of watching us over in the distance? Can you turn that on if that's a yes? We're just looking for an answer. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why is it so startling out here? Because, I, oh, man. Do you know what I mean? No, because I do, we were yeah. on edge and what we caught so far is just like, we kind of got drawn out here and it's like, Dude. Question. Do you know what drew us out here? Oh my god, dude. That was an immediate yes. They said circling around. Yeah. So I wonder, like, what is their perimeter? It's so scary not being able to see anything. I know, that's why we love night fish. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay with us being out here? The one who is answering the questions, can you turn that on? Oh? It's silent for so long, okay. and then when you ask a question... What do you guys think? This is legit, dude. We just had a full conversation. While that was off, I asked a question, they answered. Thank you. Can you please turn that off? My body will not stop chilling. I'm... I feel like a... Thank you so much. Oh, I missed that. You know that. when you're in fight or flight mode? You're like on it, right? Flight. Like, I am on edge out here. So are we safe? That's what we want to know, because we were drawn out here by somebody, something, we just want to know if we're safe out here. Can you turn the flashlight on for yes? If not, leave it alone. Use your energy. Manifest everything you can. Guys, this is not looking good. Did we ask the... Who was it? Did we ask the opposite? God, but was God. it answering you or was it answering me? Do we ask the opposite? I can't be out here and not ask. This is how we're going to find out here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this goes on, dude. So I set another one right there. 
Now, here's how this is gonna work. So sorry to interrupt you. There's somebody walking along outside of, not a live person, I wanna preface, walking outside along the gates. No, okay, can I tell you? When I was just doing that flashlight, to the left, I kept seeing a shadow go back. Outside the gates, okay. kind of by that house right there, okay. that structure, I don't even know what it is. I thought I was tripping for a second, and I also looked to the left, because maybe there was like some flag, and there's no flag that like got my attention. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, God, dude, I'm dead. <laughs> I just died inside. Oh my God, bro. What are the odds that we would talk about fireworks, about fireworks tonight and freaking a firework goes off? What is going what on tonight? 2.30 a.m. What is going on tonight, dude? This is not right. How insane did that look on night vision? Oh, dude, you wait, you wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, after getting freaked out here, I just want to know if we're safe. That one to the right, the pink one, if you could see the color, turn that on if we're safe. The other one to the left, the black one, turn that on for a no if we're not safe here. For some reason, we're starting to feel super weird. Like we are in, but we aren't. So if you can please answer that. Okay, that's a good safe. Sign. Thank you. Whatever you were seeing on the other side of the fence, I saw it too. At I'm the still of my seeing eye. it. Okay, maybe we're safe in here. It's yeah. Like this is the sacred ground. Yeah. I How don't... I kept talking about. Yeah. By any chance, just to see if you can hear us and are able to, can you turn on the other one? Just to know that you can do it. Thank oh you. my <gasps> gosh, dude, the odds. Let's be honest, guys. None. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was unreal. Oh. And it's off. It's off. Oh, thank you. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you so much. We didn't necessarily want to spend too much time out here. We just wanted to find out what's going on. It's pretty late. Yes. Yes, and it's like a nail. It's pretty late for us, and I think now is a pretty good time to end this episode. This was insane. I mean, so it went good. from one direction to a completely different. Just, I can't believe that what we caught in there with the clown going off was also tonight. Yeah. Like it feels like it was so long ago. I'm so happy with the outcome. Guys, what do you guys think about this collab? Because there's gonna be a couple. You guys, Amanda's awesome, so. And props to this guy here, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, I saw you over there. I saw you ready to beat some ass if you need it. Your other one turned on. Yeah, dude. Both of them did. Wait, they're both, both of them. Could you please turn those flashlights off at the same time? This is scaring me. <laughs> They're not going off. Isn't that weird? Oh, oh my god! Oh, no. oh my god! I got that. Oh my god, dude! I got that. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> this is that time, dude. Incredible. It's time to end this. Guys, it couldn't have gotten any better. Amanda's channel will be in the description. It's Mackie and Amanda on YouTube. They're amazing. Their content is great. I hope you guys enjoy this because there's gonna be more to come. With that being said, if you guys did like this episode, 20,000 likes, baby! You can follow all of our Instagrams. Those links will be in the description as well. And we will see you next week. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't touch the pod. Unhand my pod. Daddy yelled at me. Daddy, Daddy yelled at me just now. Please stop! The red light. Okay. Are you doing the thriller right? <laughs> red. Red guy saw. Red guy sus. And I guess it was time to make a return. 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 Rhetorical question. Rhetorical question. What the f Damn, that f kinda made me semi f wit. <laughs> Ran Dude, this reminds me of iCarly's random dancing. Beep beep boop deep beep beep boop boop beep beep boop 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 Get all wiggly with it, boys. Get all wiggly. Wiggle rhyme. Get all wiggly. Wiggle that shit. Mine. <laughs> I'm going to mine f your f. <laughs> Ryan, you can't say that, bro. I can bleep it out. You can't say that. I can bleep it out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. What happened? Some happened. Died. NASCAR battery change. Hit stop. <laughs> Sí.
see how I put this in. Oh my god. <laughs> Seems that I have had a malfunction with my microphone. It had dead. Oh. Did you... Oh. <laughs> I have two mics. <laughs> do not do that, do that, eh? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Twin Paranormal Mukbang. <laughs> it has been such a long time since we actually said that. Mukbang. Mukbang. <laughs> Indigestion. <laughs> Eight months ago, we had taken a trip to Tonoma, Tonoma Manama. <laughs> Eight months ago, we had taken a trip to Canada. Eight months ago, we had taken a trip. Eight months ago, we had taken a trip to. Mm. Eight months ago, we had taken a trip to Tonopah, Nevada. Papa. Eight months ago, we had taken a trip to Tonopah, Nevada. Eight, eight months ago. <laughs> And I love that. Eight months ago, we had. Eight months ago, we had taken a trip to Tonopah, Nevada, to visit the implement implement. If you guys don't watch these bloopers all the way through and make a mother clip best of twin paranormal with all of our bloopers seriously i want to i want to see a bunch of episodes with that'd be like an hour long video uh, every time i turn the light red can you make your voices deeper like yeah like tonight we are about to face hell with one eye open why are we closing an eye that's because we are pirates <laughs> mock mine <laughs> That's a clip they cut out. Yeah. <laughs> Why it actually introduced us to Vietnamese kitty cat. <laughs> Got the heart of steam. I am in a dancing mood today with this rock hard. <laughs> Brian, you can't say that on TV. <laughs> Hi. You should see River's face. He's like holding his cough. He's like. <laughs> you really disappoint me sometimes. All right. Threw up. <laughs> River broke his rib during the trip that we went to Tonopah. Oh, he was very drunk, tried to get on a roof. The piece of wood siding came off and he fell and hit his rib on a metal bench. It was like a rag doll. It was like something out of a movie. I think he did like two flips. You guys are so extra. I'm telling you, I'm in a dancing mood, baby. Push it. Push it. Push it real good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait for the wind up. Okay. Here it comes again. <laughs> Blood, plasma, liquids. Okay, Ryan, what is up with you? I don't know.